If you want to see magic to make it real, this video is exactly going to teach you. This video has been quite viral on the internet where you can go there and then create something and then that would actually convert that into a working HTML code. I mean, everybody has been creating these kind of demos and then sharing it online. This has been quite insane and then people are loving this. And for this, for you to use this, you have to use a service called Make Real. This is part of tldraw.com, which is something that I've been using for a very, very long time. I've recommended it to a lot of friends. This is like one of the best whiteboarding tools that I use and it is also open source. So in this video, I'm going to show you if you do not have GPT-4 key and if you have chat GPT plus subscription, how to make this useful. I have utmost respect for the developer. I'm not trying to replicate their work. This is purely trying to show you how you can build the same thing if you do not have OpenAI API key. Like if you have a chat GPT plus subscription like me, you don't have OpenAI API key or you do not want to use OpenAI API key to spend credits, rather you want to use your chat GPT plus subscription. This video is exactly going to teach you step by step how to do that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the prompt from this um, developer. And uh, I'm really sorry if this is not what you intended when you made it open source, but I truly appreciate this project and let's get started with the video. First of all, what is the service? You can see the quick demo where somebody comes here and then draw something and then make, clicks make real and then it will make it real. Like you get a HTML small iframe or a widget that will actually give you the final uh, HTML page, like in a single HTML. It's like an SP, a single page application. But for that, you need to enter your OpenAI API key, which is supposedly should have the GPT-4 access. But if you do not have GPT-4 access, that's where this video is going to be helpful. So I have chat GPT plus subscription. First of all, let me show you a demo. So I have taken one of this demo videos and uh, I took this particular demo screenshot and I went ahead and then uh, asked the chat GPT plus to create it for me. It created it for me. And if you go here, I got this. Uh, so this is, this is the input, make a gradient, uh, the shape gets filled. You've got angle linear or radial, which is a radio button. And then you've got like this color pickers and copy to CSS, copy to PNG. And uh, you can see that in my code pin dot IO, it is available for me to use. I can change the gradient. I can pick any color and uh, you can, you can see like I'm doing it live. I can pick any color and you can just copy the CSS. You want linear, you can have linear. And uh, this is super magical. How did I get to the stage? The first thing that I did is I wanted to know what is the code or the prompt that the developer is used. So for that, I went to this open source project. Please make sure you start the repository. It could mean a lot to the developer. So I went to this open source project, which is make real from TL draw. And then I saw what is the prompt that they've given. And I literally copied the prompt. So you're an expert web developer and all the information that it has got. So basically you're telling GPT-4 that once you get the wireframe, you should give me um, the HTML file and make sure it is a single HTML file that we can just host it. Like it's, it should not have separate CSS. It should not have separate JavaScript. Everything should be inline. Everything should be within one HTML page. And this is the final user prompt. When you give the screenshot, here are the latest wireframes. Could you make a new website based on these wireframes and notes send back just the HTML file? Once you have, uh, once you have this content, particularly, this is honestly like uh, the gold mine of everything here. So once you have this, all you have to do is now you have to open your new chat GPT plus like, um, like the one that I have here. Let me create a new one for you. So this is how the new one looks like. The first thing that you need to do is you need to copy this entire thing, which is the prompt. You copy the entire prompt. Once you copy the entire prompt, first send it to it. So this way chat GPT plus or the GPT four will acknowledge. It's going to tell you, okay, absolutely. I'm ready to assist whenever you want. Just give me the screenshot and everything. I'm going to do it. Now is a part where we are going to go create something like I've already created this Pomodoro timer. You can see I said Pomodoro timer, start button, stop button. And I have the Pomodoro timer, which has start button and a stop button. So instead of that, let me try something else now. I'm going to say this one. And uh, we have a ball and we have some blocks. And I'm going to call it Atari bricks. I don't know. What do you call this Atari bricks? And we are going to have score. Okay. Um, add some context. This is the game where the ball smashes the bricks. 
once the player misses catching the catching the ball with the plate the game is over let's see if it can understand once again a little ambitious because you know this also requires lot more nuances but at least like i hope this might be done so i'm going to run this i mean copy this come back here send this copy the system prompt here and come back here paste it and then send it ideally i should have created a new chat otherwise you know you hit the context window all these kind of limits but i think given i assume that this could be at this point 100k so let's see if it can just do it so i call it atari bricks this is a game and uh, it's uh, trying to create the html and it is probably going to add everything that we want i'm not sure if it is going to give me the javascript in itself in case of my pomodoro it actually gave me the javascript as well so all i have to do is like go here click start and um, it starts and i can just click stop and it stops it's same thing with my make a gradient as well so you can see here um, the gradient works the css is copied so i can like literally paste the css somewhere like here and have the css so so in this case or everything worked fine that also tells you how important it is for you to make the right kind of wireframe add the right kind of detail it is still not a child's play for you to just go draw and then simply expect magic to happen but even then i guess like this is quite magical to be honest like um, for me once again it is telling me place the logic just just add the logic and give me the final html so that i can just play okay so once again it did not add the logic so i'm going to just give it to add the logic and then get back to me so our code is ready you can go here copy the code go back here paste the code and then let's see if we actually have a game so i have oh that's amazing so i don't know how to move this at this point the x axis um but uh I think this is quite awesome. So, oh, I don't want to hold, uh, save it. I come back again, reload the site, paste it. And um, I think the game starts without us doing anything. We should probably have like a stop button and I should have like some control over moving this at this point. But as you can see, like this is magical. So the entire thing is available here. I'm going to link the source prompt in the YouTube description. And uh, if you can use a uh, TL draw, make sure you use real draw because that's where all the idea and everything came from and uh, if you want to create this as a gpt you can still do it like it's um, it's super simple all you have to do is go here and uh, create a new gpt let me know like if that is something that you would in be interested in i can make a separate video about it like how to quickly make a gpt out of it so that all you have to do is go paste the screenshot and get the output but i think for now this is quite magical and uh, i didn't know that this could be done just with gpt4 and chat gpt plus i was so surprised and happy that it worked that's why i ended up making actually a video otherwise i wouldn't have made a video let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it and if it is something that you tried let me know in the comment section what is the outcome was it like really good see you in another video happy prompting peace